What's up, everybody? It's Bill from High Volume Games, and welcome to another episode of Promotion Wars. If you haven't seen the last episode, I am much more aerodynamic today. Uh, all right, so we are at the show of shows. This is our WrestleMania. We're a week away. We're going to have two shows today. It's going to be the Wednesday house show and the pay-per-view or the big show itself. Uh, so if you didn't watch last episode, uh, the episode was great. It was probably the most fun. And then the last 30 seconds of the show just hurt. It hurt bad. Uh, we lost Davy Boy Smith Jr. Uh, to an injury. And it's not a bad injury. It's just two weeks. But unfortunately, like I said, we're one week away from the show of shows. So now we've lost. Uh, technically, we're not sure. We're, we don't know when Paul London's return is. But if his return isn't before the 16th, then we've lost our top two faces for biggest show uh, so as the director of high volume wrestling i have made a decision and signed three wrestlers off screen i signed leo rush to an 800 dollars a week contract i signed mad braddix formerly wwe's brad maddox to a 300 dollars a week contract and former uh tna tag team champion Chris Harris to a 200 a week contract. So I feel these three are going to be great additions. Um, Leo Rush, uh, I paid, he is the ninth highest paid person on our roster, but he's the fifth highest draw and the second highest ability. So I really think that's going to be good. He's going to be able to be in the main event. He's going to be able to boost the draw. Plus he's going to give you high quality matches. If you put, uh, if you put Austin Aries 84 versus Leo Rush's 83 and you have a little feud back there, we could get some really, really high numbers. And what's distracting me behind me is that I can see through my camera shot the uh, NASCAR race. <laughs> um, and Brad Maddox, I have a few ideas for him, but I think he's going to be a chameleon for us. I think, first of all, for 300 bucks, he's got a, a 71 ability. So he can put on a decent match. He's got a 40 draw, 41 draw. So he people do know who he is. Uh, I kind of have a thought about putting him in as a managerial position, but also wrestle as well. Um, but he can easily be a mid-card heel for us. And Chris Harris could be a really uh, low-risk, high-reward kind of guy. He's $200. But he's got a 40 draw. Oh, he's got a 40 draw. I see him as either a mid card face, you know, maybe uh, somebody who could feud with Andrew Everett uh, for the interstate championship, or he could be. We could put him with a younger guy like saying Adam Williams and make the new America's Most Wanted tag team. So we're gonna see. We're gonna have our two shows. And we're going to do our best. Right now, we are, we're, we're doing well. Um, but we need to do better. So let's get down to it. I'm going to head down to the gorilla position and get our show started. All right, gang. Welcome to the gorilla position. We are set to go. This is where we make our decisions. And get the show rolling. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is because we're maybe down two people uh, and we have one signing booked, Jordan Grace is going to come in. She's going to be in the women's match. Uh, we need to look for somebody in the men's side. Um, oh no. I'm not really as much about in-ring ability, what we need in this case is going to be we need someone who can draw. And so let's give me about give me about a 60 draw, maybe a 65. Who can we afford that's you know going to give me some draw value? This ACH here has a draw value of 67, which is pretty high. I think that ranks third on our roster. And he's got an ability of 79, which would probably be also about third. So 
I don't really know him, but he might be a person to let's try to book for 225. That could be a steal for us. He's unable to work that date. But we'll keep him in mind, though, for the next time. Okay, so we're not going to go Adam Cole because none of the WWE guys are going to are able to be booked. Uh, Santino Morella. He's 950 for his 66. Um, there's a few guys that's like, oh, wow, I'd love to have them, but they're expensive as hell. Uh, Billy Gunn is not book taking booking fees. Bully Ray's asking for a thousand dollars. Let's just get CM Punk. Just be like ten thousand dollars. Just throw it at him. Like here. Get Dwayne. All ego Ethan Page. 610. He's got that 66. He's got a 61 as far as his... Uh, um, Five fifty for Heath Slater. Let's just try it. You always have a soft spot for Heath Slater. Oh, but he says no. He's unable to. He's got kids. You know, he's got to watch them. God, I remember Jake Hager in this game when, I don't know what year or so, but he was like a 28 for draw because nobody had heard of him yet. But he was like an 84 ability. So he was just amazing. Uh, we'll approach Cowboy James Storm for the second time. Oh, he is going to join us. Okay, excellent. All right, then that's all we need. We got Cowboy James Storm. Moxley is 4,500. Should we just do it? Yeah, no, he said no. <laughs> Just have Moxley show up in his 97 uh, draw. All right. So let's get our Wednesday show going. Um, we got a, we got an inbox on a Tuesday. This could be good. This could be someone's coming back. Upcoming return. Paul London will be back. We will have our main event. All right, so that means, okay, so if Paul London's coming back in a few days and he'll be there for the pay-per-view, London will face Ares for the title, and James Storm will fight and go over Eric Redbeard. All right. So, so he's not back for now. So we're going to go to... We still haven't sold out the Bartow yet. We need to sell it out. I have so many people now. It's almost like we need eight, but I know eight tends to... Like if we have these smaller shows, we actually get some better ratings. That could be just my head saying that, but... I mean, do we, do we just do it and put Leo Rush? <laughs> we don't, now we don't really have anything in the pay-per-view for him. Although, I could have him win a, a battle royal. If he can become the number one contender. <laughs> See, the problem is now I know I know what I want to do if London wins, and I know what I want to do if Ares wins. So. Okay, so we're going to... 
how's everybody's condition? If somebody's not doing well, we're going to keep them off. Uh, Cannonball is going to take the day off. LA Park's going to take the day off. Um, it, the Disco Guy is going to take the day off. Austin Aries is going to take the day off. So, okay. Redbeard could use the day off. Um, <laughs> it's almost seems like, let's let let's just sit, people. <laughs> So we're going to have, so yeah, Leo Rush is going to have to probably main event against somebody. Uh, we're going to have, is Tommy O'Neill okay? Yeah, Tommy O'Neill's good. So we're going to have Tommy O'Neill and Dan Housen fight again. Because their last fight was fantastic. And Disco needs the day off. And, tech, and Maven, should we, we want those guys to be ready. Um... All right, so did I say Redbeard needed the day off? Yeah, I did, probably. He's a 93, but... All right, so Redbeard versus Leo Rush is going to be our main event. I should have probably given that to Leo. I, oh, but if I give it to Leo Rush, the number five guy who's a 50-something versus the 71, you know who's going to get mad. <laughs> All right, we want a singles match between Dan Housen and Tommy O'Neill. What a, what a push for Tommy O'Neill getting a five spot. Um, let's do a four-way dance between Andrew Everett, Lance NY. Let's put in the debuting Brad Maddox, or Mad Braddix. God, I'm going to get sued because I keep saying that, but Mad Braddix. And we'll go with Daniel Maccabee because, again, yeah, Maccabee, I feel bad for. I really don't have a spot for him yet, but he's got a good ability, so we're going to keep putting him in matches. A singles match. Uh, oh, nope. Let's do a women's tag team match. With Nicole Matthews. Uh, and Summer Ray versus Amber Nova and Arian Andrew. We're going to do our. Continuing saga between Eric Cannon. And Adam Williams. And we're going to open up with a singles parking lot championship match. And we'll put it under first blood rules. Between Zach Godwin and Viking. We're going to have someone bleed to start the show. <laughs> All right, here's our go home episode where a lot of the wrestlers have went home because they need to rest before the big show of shows. So it's going to load up. It's going to tell us our crowd rating, our, and then it will go through the matches. I will say I slowed the the text crawl uh, in the last episode, and I was able to keep up a lot better. So <laughs> we'll do that again. I'm hoping for a good number here. We'll see. 
110. I think it's 120, but that is the highest that we've had at the bar tone. We're, we're creeping up. It's like one guy tells his buddy to come to the show, and he comes. So we're, we're creeping. <laughs> Let's slow this down. All right, part first blood. Matt, Zach, God went pounding away at Viking's head. No blood. Godwin goes outside the ring and picks up steel ring steps. He takes him into the rings and he's waiting. He's going like this, waiting for him. Slams the steel cage or well, steel ring steps into his head, and now Viking is bleeding and it's over. Zach Godwin retains his title. It's time for summertime with Summer Ray. This week's guest is Eric Cannon. <laughs> Summer Ray tells the fans that this week there's two guests, and here comes homegrown Adam Williams. That's going to be his nickname. Homegrown Adam Williams. Uh, this, they're, they're exchanging words. It's broken out into a brawl right before their match. They're ruining the set of summertime with Summer Ray again. How dare these people? We don't have money to keep putting up Summer Ray's sets. <laughs> Adam Williams is now connecting the Tiger Suplex on Cannon. Williams gets the cover and the three count. Adam Williams continues that role. I think he's going to be Chris Harris's. Uh, um, oh, we got more trash talking between Dan Housen and that disco guy and Maven Huffman and Tommy O'Neill. Dan Housen, we can beat you, you anytime, anywhere. Disco guy says, whether it's right here in Bartow, Danhausen says, in the dawn of the morning. Okay. Maven says, is that so? O'Neill says, we beg to differ. Both teams stare eye to eye, and both teams leave the ring. Nicole Matthews hits the Vancouver maneuver on Arion. Matthews makes the cover and gets the three. Nicole Matthews on such a run, and Arion Andrew just has not won anything recently. All right, the four-way dance. Matt could be down on the mat. Lance, it's the Samoan splash of Lance getting some momentum going into his title match at the pay-per-view. Poor Daniel Maccabee. <laughs> he did his job, though. <laughs> Dan Housen versus Tommy O'Neill. Tommy O'Neill connects with the power slam on Dan Housen. O'Neal makes the cover. Uh oh, I wonder if this is going to make Danhausen upset. But the referee counts to three, and Tommy O'Neal picks up the win. Aaron Andrews tells Barto that she could beat Matthews any day. They're saying right here, right now, right here, right now. This could get ugly. That brawl is broken out. Security is trying to stop this. Andrews jumps out of the corner fighting Matthews. Security can't even stop these two. This is far from over. They will be in a four-way dance at the pay-per-view. It's either four-way or triple threat. I gotta have to see. Redbeard hits the Iron Summit Claw on Rush. Makes the cover. But his feet are on the ropes. Here comes Davy Boy Smith Jr. He takes Redbeard's foot off the ropes. Redbeard gets starts talking trash to him. Rush comes up behind with an inside cradle. Leo Rush wins his debut match over Eric Redbeard with help from Davy Boy Smith Jr. Oh my lord. <laughs> Alright, so Zach Godwin 53% of that first blood match. Uh, Adam Williams for Eric Cannon was 75%. They're slowly creeping up. And Nicole Matthew, the tag woman, the women's tag is 71%. Uh, the four-way dance was 74%. Uh, O'Neal and Danhausen went 79%. Again, that's, I like that pairing. And Leo Rush and Eric Redbeard went 77%, which you got to give some credit to Rush there because Redbeard getting a 77% match. The overall show rating was down, but again, we did not have a lot of people that we would have put in the, the show. Oh, my God, we got five inboxes. <laughs> Did we piss off that many people? 
<laughs> we probably injured Viking, and then we pissed off uh, Danhausen and Redbeard. Summer Ray is injured. <laughs> <laughs> She will be out of action for a month. No! <laughs> uh, house show was uh, 1320 bucks. Uh, Dan Housen was unhappy. We agreed. We knew that was going to happen. And Eric Redbeard was unhappy. <laughs> All right. Well, so we lose Summer Ray. Poor that whole... I, I set up Summer Ray with Nemeth. Nemeth goes down. I set up Summer Array with Everett. Now Summer Array has gone down. This is just awful. All right. We'll end these feuds. Okay, so we are now headed to the show of shows. Oh, we got... We got the Paul London is returned. Thank you. Thank you for coming back for the show. Because that feud is still going on. It's still fairly good. So this, for the title, main event, it's going to be a good one. They're very pleased with our current performance. That's a good thing. Oh, Davy Boy Smith Jr. is coming back in a few days, so he'll be back for the first, uh, for the post show of shows. All right, all right. So now we've sold out at one fifty, and and we sold out at two hundred, if I wasn't mistaken. I don't know. Maybe no. Do I don't know. Where do we? That's okay. Let's try this. Let's 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 go big. Let's try at the Highlands to Today Center. Two hundred and seventy-five people, and just see where we go. This one. Now bear with me. I'm gonna put eight matches. I don't know if I'm gonna go to more or less. We'll see. Uh, I might have to redo, clear the show, and redo it again. Uh, our world heavyweight title, Paul London and Austin Aries. We've been we've been waiting for that match since Aries has been out. Well, I mean, London's been out. How's everybody condition wise? Cannonball's still down. La Park is still down. Uh, Aries is eh. So is that Desco guy. Oh, we'll, work. we'll do our best. Uh, in our match seven, we're going to have Eric Redbeard and Cowboy James Storm. In our match six, I kind of want to make it a ladder, but I don't know. Uh, we're going to put Lance. Oh, wait. Hold on. Yeah, singles, interstate championship. Well, now remember how I was saying uh, that as we're going to book the women's match next. As I was saying, it was going to be a four-way dance. We can't actually do a four-way, uh, but we can do a th triple threat. And since Summer Rae is now injured, uh, we're going to... And we are going to put the women's championship up on the line with Jordan Grace in the match. I don't mind... If she wins the title, that could cause an interesting storyline. <laughs> so Matthews, Grace, and Andrew... Our tag team titles will be on the line as Dan Housen and that Disco guy take on Tommy O'Neill and Maven Huffman. The 
this is where we kind of I know where I wanna I know I wanna put a hardcore match in. So I guess we'll do that next. The parking lot championship uh, in a hardcore match, and we're going to put two home, two of our homegrown talent, Zach Godwin and Scotty Valentine. I did not put Leo Rush in a match. Darn. And I don't want to put him so low. <laughs> so hold on. That's why. That's why I said I'm probably gonna. Uh, So let's go, let's go 10. Singles is... Singles is Aries in London. Yeah, there was a decent amount of names that I... There were a couple names there that we could have put in matches. All right. The next one... Is Redbeard and Storm. I'm actually going to auto that one. I originally said James Storm was going to win, but. Um, our next one for the Interstate Championship Andrew Everett. The question is, do I, I mean, they've got the feud going. Do we just throw, do we throw, do we throw Leo Rush in there? <laughs> no. Well, we'll put Andrew Everett versus uh, Lance. Wait, why is Lance not in this match? Oh, because I screwed up. Oh. <laughs> okay. Because it was supposed to be... Uh, it's Austin Aries versus Paul London. Because I was saying London and I went for the L's. Okay, so Aries in London, World Heavyweight title. Eric Redbeard and James Storm. Interstate Championship... Everett and Lance. Our tag team championship. Disco Guy and Hausen versus Huffman and O'Neill. Women's Triple Threat, Matthews, Grace, and Andrew, Singles Match, who could give me the better match, okay, he's a 67, he's a 71, okay. So we're going to put Leo Rush uh, against Brad Maddox. Mad Braddix with Leo Rush winning. We're going to put another singles match. Now is he... I think both faces... Alpha's a face and Chris Harris is a face. Yeah. I don't really have a like a huge heel conglomerate anymore either. So, okay, we'll we'll do that. Alpha and Chris Harris are going to be in this match. We want their we want their drawability in here. Uh, we're going to put 
the parking lot championship up on the line between Zach Godwin and Scotty Valentine. We're going to put Our friends, homegrown Adam Williams and Eric Cannon. Oh, I left. Although LA Park is uh, is hurting right now, so he should take this one off. He 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 sacrificed a lot working for us for uh, uh, with Paul London being out. LA Park did a lot of work for us, and out of Sanchez Black. Henry and Gonzalez. Sanchez, Black, Henry, and Gonzalez. Who has the best? Black is a 69. I think so is Gonzalez. Gonzalez is a 68. Sanchez is a 60. Henry is a 70. So Henry and Maccabee will open the show. All right, we've made our bed. This is the show of shows. We've got Austin Aries and Paul Lundet, Redbeard and Storm, Everett and Lance, NY, that disco guy and Dan Housen versus Huffman and O'Neill, Matthews, Grace, and Arian Andrew, Leo Russian, Mad Braddocks, Afra NY and Chris Harris, Zach Godwin and Scotty Valentine for the hardcore title, Adam Williams and Eric Cannon, and Anthony Henry versus Daniel Maccabee. Let's go, kids. <laughs> so if, if Aries wins... Uh, I see him going up against, like, a Leo Rush. Uh, if London wins, I see him going up against Eric Redbeard, because we can transition that to him. Redbeard's the highest draw of us all, of all of them. And then the same thing, I know, I know what I want out of, I know what I want to do if, uh, Andrew Everett wins, or if Lance NY wins. And the same thing with... I'm rooting on Disco Housing, which is the name that Velo gave us. Uh, although I have a... There's another storyline I'm about to build that may or may not work. <laughs> but, uh... We'll see. I know what I know what happens. I'd like them to win because I know what would happen. Look at that. We sold out 275 for the show of shows. The Sebring, Florida. They love us. They love us here in Sebring. All right. Henry versus Maccabee. Ah, oh, poor Maccabee. Henry locks in Texas clo Cloverleaf. Maccabee has nowhere to go. Maccabee's forced to tap out. Henry gets the win. We need like a like a loser belt, and uh, if you lose, you get the belt. <laughs> Eric Cannon connecting the anarchist hammer on Williams. Cannon's gonna win the match. He's been losing like what three, four straight weeks, and just decides to uh, he put his foot on the bottom rope, but the ref doesn't see. Cannon wins at the show of shows. <laughs> Oh, the fans are booing. Hardcore match for the between Zach Godwin and Scotty Valentine. They're fighting their way through the fans. It's a Pier 6 brawl. Scotty Valentine tosses Zach Godwin over the barrier. And Irish whips him into the steel steps. Scotty Valentine sends Godwin back into the ring now. It connects with the kiss of death. Oh, Scotty Valentine wins. <laughs> The rookie wins his title at the parking lot champion. Alpha Jr. versus Chris Harris. Alpha goes to the top rope. It's the frog splash. 
and gets the win. This one is over. Alpha Jr. coming off with a big win. This would really work if Everett wins now. Cause <laughs> but Leo rushed to the top rope. And he hits the Dragon's Call. The ref makes the three count. And Leo Rush making a great uh, performance at the show of shows. Oh my god, Jordan Grace has hit the Grace Driver on Andrews and wins! The Impact Superstar has now got the HVW Championship! Oh no! <laughs> the Disco Guy hits the Chart Buster on Tommy O'Neill. He makes the cover. That Disco Guy gets the pin. And they retain the gold. Andrew Everett versus Lance. Andrew Everett goes up top. He hits the 630 centon. The cover's made. The ref counts to three, and Andrew Everett retains the championship. Eric Redbeard versus James Storm. James Storm hits last call. Poor Redbeard. He's another guy who's on a losing streak. The ref counts to three. And it's over. And Austin Aries and Paul London. Vince Russo's up on the apron getting the attention of the referee. Aries goes outside, gets the world heavyweight title. With the referee distracted, Aries hits Paul London in the head with the gold. London's out cold. Vince Russo lets the referee get back to the match. Aries makes the cover. And the ref counts to three. That Aries and Vince Russo combination. <laughs> Who did that? Uh, Anthony Henry and defeats Daniel McAbee in a 72% match. Eric Cannon and Adam Williams went 76. And see, that's increasing. They were 73, 74. Now they're at 76. Look at this. Scotty Valentine and Zach Godwin in a hardcore match got 83%. <laughs> Alpha and Chris Harris got a 70%. But again, you're following that 83% match where everyone's going ballistic. Uh, Leo Rush and Brad Maddox went 78%. Nice match there. Uh, the triple threat where Jordan Grace now holding our championship. 72%. The tag team championship match went 76 The interstate championship went 79 James Storm and... Eric Redbeard went 76, and Austin Aries and Paul London went 85%. That is awesome. We had an 85 and an 83 in this match, in this pay-per-view. Uh, now, and like I said, it's a little harder to impress on the pay-per-view. It's a little, uh, but, so we got a 75.36, which is still, again, higher than we did the previous one when we did the, uh, when Worlds Collide. Uh, so, that is great. Oh, only two emails. That's a good thing. We made, oh, look at that. We made $7,300. Oh, $7,400. And fans thought it was enjoyable. So, that is going to be it for this. Um... On our next show, we'll decide what the name... Actually, I'll give you guys an opportunity. What what should we call the next pay-per-view? I wanted to do something like, you know... Uh, not like Payback or Backlash or something something that had some sort of synonym to that. But I, I'm still thinking. Um, so, what should the next show of show be called? And we'll start our feuds now. I don't know. Let's see. What is our... London and Aries is still hot, uh, especially now that they, they fought. We might continue that one. Uh, Everett and Lance is still going. Disco, these guys are still going. So we'll we'll continue on. All right, let me send you back up to the high volume games control tower. 
So we can wrap this show up. All right, guys, we're back here. Uh, what a show. Um, the first, our, our first little house show, you know, it was what it was. We had some guys who needed a break. Uh, we, we did what we could. Uh, thought it was all right. The, but well, the show of shows was really good. I enjoyed it. Uh, we had 275 people. We gained a lot, a decent amount of money. Um, and I thought the matches were good. We had uh, 85% with our main event. We had an 83% with two uh, high volume wrestling school people, you know, in a hardcore match. I mean, what a great thing that was. And I thought the other ones were good too. We're going to have to figure out what to do with our women's championship. And uh, we'll have to see, are we going to continue feuds going into our next big show? Or do we change things up? Uh, those feuds that we have, the the world, the interstate, the tag, our st and our first, our little opener between Eric Cannon and Adam Williams are still going on. So... We'll, we'll decide all this on our next episode, but thanks for watching. Uh, the fact that you guys are still watching and, you know, comment makes me keep doing it. So thanks. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, uh, follow the Twitter at High Volume Games, and we'll talk to you guys later. Take care now.